Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another swatch party video. I'm sure you guys can already guess from the title. We are talking about the new MAC Cosmetics collaboration with Jeremy Scott. Honestly though, with MAC, it's like, I feel like they come out with a new collaboration every five seconds. So by the time I get this video up, they're probably announcing a new collaboration. But I totally picked this palette up on a whim. I'm kind of ashamed of myself because I follow this Instagram account. I think it's called Makeup Crazy. I can't quite remember, but I'll remember to link it down in the description box for you guys. And I love her because, or him or her, I'm not sure. Um, if it's run by a guy or a girl, I don't follow it that closely, but I love their particular Instagram account because not as big as Trend Mood. So whoever this person is, I'm going to say she. I'm just going to assume that it's a girl. I love their take on makeup because a lot of times she's just like me. She's just like, I can't believe this is coming out. Like... I swatched this palette in person and it's horrible and you guys should like save your money and not buy it and it's totally like me because I'm always I feel like I'm trying out products and I'm like don't buy this it's garbage so she had swatched this palette in store and she's like don't buy it it's garbage but it came out on Ulta.com and I was like I kind of want it it's so I have the Sephora collab that they came out with with Jeremy Scott. That's the teddy bear. In case you guys are wondering, Jeremy Scott is the creative director behind the brand Moschino. And so since he took over the fashion house a few years ago, they've been doing some really out there things. It's definitely not my style, but some people are really into the brand. If you guys remember, they did like the McDonald's dress and all these like weird couture like stuff so anyway that's a little bit of what I know about Moschino and Jeremy Scott but in case you're wondering this is the palette I'm referring to this guy is $75 and this is what the outer packaging looks like it comes in this box it kind of looks like a video game box like I bought the like, Dance Dance Revolution or something and on here it says eyeshadow there's 29 shades and then there's like if you were to buy a radio it says like dual band tuner and FM ca cassette player super bass kicker dual tweeter system eyeshadow times 29 so it's very interesting it says the net weight of the palette is 0.51 ounces or 14.5 grams I like the idea, I just feel like I should have known better before I bought this, but I thought, hey, I'll swatch it for you guys, kind of try and help you out. I definitely think there's not a whole lot in here. I honestly feel like this is one of those items you would buy just for the packaging because these eyeshadows are like honestly like kind of a pathetic size. Like I love the layout, I, I just feel like this is like a collector's item. It's not something you would buy if you were like a professional makeup artist or anything like that. Uh, it's just not practical for day-to-day -day use. So I'm going to stop blabbering. I want to swatch so you guys can see these swatches. And they pretty much turned out exactly like Makeup Crazy had predicted. They're not very freaking pigmented. So these are the first three shades. And uh, yeah, I actually did start filming this video the other day and uh, my card ran out of memory, so I had to stop. But I was like, honestly, kind of like a little bit shell-shocked at how bad the pigmentation is on this palette because it's a $75 eyeshadow palette. And if you're looking for good shadows, I would not buy this. I would buy anything but this. But if you're like a collector, then you might want to buy this. And I won't be like reviewing this in full or anything on my channel. I literally thought I would swatch it for you guys. See if it lived up to any type of expectation. And then if I didn't like it, I was just going to take it back. Because this palette is a joke. Like this is how I usually swatch. Look at how that red swatched. Like you can't be serious. <laughs> it's like bad quality for any brand and MAC is such a well-known brand I'm really really surprised so I would love to see how youtubers that got this palette for free are gonna justify this situation because I think the pigmentation is really lacking in this palette they feel really soft but there's no like color payoff and 
honestly, I don't even have like the, like, I don't even have the desire to try this out on my eyes because I'm just already <laughs> disappointed by how it's watching. Um, and I know finger swatches aren't like the end all be all. But this honestly feels like kids makeup. It really, really feels like kids makeup. So if you have like a teen that you don't want to wear too much makeup, this might be a good buy for them because, and it's kind of like weirdly staining my fingers. I'm just trying to like wipe it off with a paper towel. And then there's this yellow, there's a weird neutral green color and then like a forest green. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, these also have shade names. So the ones I swatched on here are Lo-Fi, Creative Copper, by the Beat, and then we have Endless Frequency, which is like a peach color, and then Disco Therapy. <laughs> this is so bad. Do you guys even care what these colors are called? I'll just tell you guys these ones. So this brown one is called Beautifully Charred, and then we have the black shade, which is called Raven Eyed, and then Videoed Emotions, or Video Emotions, and then the yellow, which you can barely see, is called Memories of Space. Um, this light green is called Remixology, and the last green is called Batalica. Like Metallica, but it's Beat Alica. So Batalica, I don't know. And then there's a sh row of blues. So I'm going to swatch right here. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I feel like I would be so disappointed if I actually had like high expectations of this palette. And like if you're a MAC Cosmetics fan, I feel like you would be disappointed too. Because they're like powdery with zero pigment. So here are the blue shades. We've got Synthesize, Oldie But Goodie, Powerful Performance. At the turntable and electric feel is that blue shade right here. And then there's some purples. So let's switch sides for the purples. Here are the three purples. So let me just swatch right here. So the light purple is called She's a Machine. Then we have Jam Session and Club New Wave Mix. I don't know, this is so bizarre, you guys. I'm not trying, let me just like try and build this up. Okay, so here's a really big swatch. I mean, then it's like, a, I don't know. I just feel like I'm really like pressing in and picking these up, but. So I guess you can kind of build them up but for 75 bucks? Like the red is really, I feel like this one, it's like really hard to build up the red. The pink and the blue are pretty bright. I'll give them that. But I mean, shit, it's a $75 palette. That's like, what? Like $50 cheaper than Natasha Denona? Look at the purple. It's like, you guys see that? There's like no color. It looks like a bruise. Granted, the pink and the blue do look really good. But the I just think it's a really, really bad palette for the price point. I don't really even know what more to say about it. I just wanted to do a swatch video because I bought it and uh, it, it performed exactly how we thought it was going to perform badly because I was warned. I was warned by Makeup Crazy, that Instagram channel is called. So... I think the only reason you should buy this is if you are a avid makeup collector. If you like like unique packaging, I feel like that's the only reason you could justify buying this. I really am into the packaging, but I don't think that's a good enough reason for me to keep it. I have no interest in the lip or the face palette. And that bare palette, I bought it purely for the packaging and I never use it. but. 
it's okay because I told myself I wasn't buying it to use it. I bought it for the packaging. So that is pretty much it for this video. I know it wasn't a very informed, detailed video, but I just wanted you guys to see my live swatches of this palette. So let me know your thoughts. Are you planning on picking anything up from the MAC Jeremy Scott collection or not? I'm just really curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.